Hello and welcome to the brand new course Hands-on Azure Data Breaks. My name is Shantanu Das and I'm going to be your instructor and author of this course. In terms of introduction, I have been working as a infrastructure consultant from past many years, uh, helping Fortune 500 companies with their DevOps practices, setting up continuation integration and delivery, setting up infrastructure automation using infrastructure code tool like Terraform from HashiCorp, uh, Plumi, uh, worked on majority of the cloud platform, be it Google Cloud or Azure or Amazon. I actively create content for the best selling courses on Udemy, uh, CodeRed and many other publisher channel. I also run a platform called Scale Up Infra, which kind of uh, bridges the gap between uh, DevOps infrastructure engineers and recruiter, helping them to hone their skills and uh, recruiters to find um, skillful DevOps engineers. So that was about me. Let's get into the course introduction. Um, that's how the course looks like. You, We would be getting started with Spark and Big Data. We're going to before getting into the hands-on session, we're going to get a little bit of idea about what Spark is, what Big Data is, why the data is called as big, and uh, we are also going to understand about the architecture of Databricks, which is an independent company built by the same founders of Spark. Um, in the second module, we're going to get started with, this is going to be an actual hands-on session wherein we're going to start with the fundamentals of Azure Databricks. We are going to create our first Azure Databricks, understand the components like so clusters, pools, uh, jobs, and a lot of other components. We're going to automate the entire process. And in the third uh, module, we're going to get started with extracting, transform, and load, um, wherein we're going to load the data from from a blob storage or from a, a table file store that's going to be a csv file you could use any uh, the example is going to be on csv but you could consider any format parquet or a json could be any other structure or unstructured format then we're going to apply some of the transformations run some sql queries do some transformation and then push the data into an Azure blob store so that can be consumed by some uh, business analytics solutions uh, or elastic search so that it can be viewed by the end users. At the end of the module, we're going to touch base on the continuous integration and delivery for our Spark application. We're going to understand the integration, uh, configure the integration between Databricks and uh, the source code repo so that we kind of follow the same practices happens in the development lifecycle. We also gonna understand what Spark Jobs is and how you could just use it as a cron job to automatically run your Spark application. Once uh, we're done with that, uh, in terms of prerequisites, um, obviously it's a data, uh, course data session. We, we expect you to have a bit of knowledge about data, but even if you don't have, that's fine. That's why we haven't written it down here. Even if you're new to data world, it is going to be a complete new learning for you. So we expect you to have Azure subscription an active internet connection, a Terraform installed and Azure DevOps subscription because that's what we're gonna use for continuous integration and delivery. Why this course? This course is built, 90% of the course is built on top of hands-on sessions. So very less PPT, very less uh, theoretical uh, sessions, all, all um, hands-on sessions so that you can practice and, and kind of get the best industry experience even if you're if you haven't got any prior experience working with data uh, being data engineers or w aspire to become a data engineer or scientist or an uh, analytics world you this course is for you uh, targeted for the audience who's coming from data ops engineers uh, data engineers or analyst uh, looking forward to do the data break certification or as your data en engineers want, want to become into go into that direction so that was about the introduction and overview of the course so without let's uh, without further ado let's get started with the course